what your shoe says about you. Basic edition. Don't come for me. This is just a joke. Like, God, you guys need to chill. Okay, first we have white Nike Air Forces. You think you're like a baddie? <laughs> but in actuality, you're failing math! Next, we have black Nike Air Forces. You definitely love fighting people. Like you just enjoy inflicting pain. You're psychotic! Next, we have chunky Fila shoes. You're just short and you just like being a little bit taller, you know? You know, because two inches makes such a big difference. Next, we have Adidas Superstars. You definitely went through some sort of musically phase. And you're also probably really mean now. What a world we live in! Wow! And finally, we have the most iconic shoe of them all. The Vans Old Schools. You're edgy! What your prom dress says about you based on my experience working in a dress shop. Your theme is either the Roaring Twenties or Hollywood. You're 4'11 and want to show off your 5-inch stilettos so you can finally be an average height. Every bitch who wants a jumpsuit will constantly remind you that they don't wear dresses and will say the word comfortable 50 times. You're really sweet and bubbly and I would love to boogie with you on the dance floor. Two-piece dresses can go either way. You're either cool as fuck or annoying as fuck. Typically worn by girls who are pretty shy and don't want something too flashy, so they go with a really safe bet. Girl, don't be nervous. You look great. You're a freshman that got asked by a senior and you think having an exposed back will make you sexy and mature, but you're 14, so it just makes everybody really uncomfortable. Part two of what your prom dress says about you based on me working in a dress shop. You're pretty low key and chill, so you're probably only there for the food. Bitches in ball gowns be thinking they bibbity bobbity booed their way to prom and chose a big dress so they could end their high school career, quote, with a bang. I'm bitches, so I have no room to talk. And yes, that is me. You bought this dress online so you could live out your fantasy of being in the 1950s, but we all know it's not going to look like the picture because you ordered it off of AliExpress. Literally never had a good experience with girls who want to dress like this. They are the fucking worst. You're the mom friend of the group who looks fabulous with just the right amount of modesty and you just want your friends to have a good time. You think you're the life of the party, but you're definitely going to be the one to develop an alcohol problem in college. I'm glad that we don't sell pantsuits at my store because if we did, I think I would fall in love with everybody who wore one. Here's what your favorite Barbie villain says about you. If your fave is the Rat King, you probably have the entire rat movie memorized. If your fave is Mother Gothel, you'll probably tell people with depression to just stop being sad. If your fave is Rothbard, I'm sorry, but you just want to have sex with him because he's got no other redeeming qualities. <laughs> if Preminger is your favorite, the reason why is most likely because of his villain song. Because let's be real, it slaps. I'm sorry, but if your favorite Barbie villain is the one whose only character trait is being a misogynist, I can't respect you. If your fave is Rowena, uh, you're probably very into MILFs now. Queen Ariana follows the same rules as Mother Gothel. You've probably never fought with your mother, and I am very jealous. <laughs> if Lydia is your favorite, you're definitely a lesbian. Also, you've absolutely gone through a goth scene emo phase after being very peppy.